and we are going to procure of raw milk. So our uh, it is not only the Indian Air Force team. Similar structure is also in Navy, in and also in our army. Only in world standard we see that only the 15 percent. Equipment, artillery, it's supposed to be the auxiliary, and 85 percent should be the state of the art. But they are having only the 50 percent, which is a very great difference. But in the last decades, Indian Defense Industry has been in the process of understanding one of the largest procurement cycle in the world. So great uh, the make in India in defense sector is a policy and its objective is to achieve substantive self-reliance in the design, development and production of equipment, weapon system and platform required for defense at earlier times and at possible. Basically, we are having the innovative hub in the world. India is the innovative hub in the world. And uh, we are not using the innovation for our defense development. So, keeping that view, the, this program is launched and is planned. To create conditions can be uh, conductive and it's conducted for the private industry to take an active role in the endeavor to enhance potential for SME in Indianization and to broaden the defense R&D based on the threat. Earlier when the maximum is for the public sector enterprise, so only the very few private sector, private players in the defense market. But government is giving the free end for the private players to enhance the capacity building base for weapon system in India. Wherever the required arms, ammunition, equipments are possible to be made by the Indian industry, within the timeline the procurement will be made from Indian Indian sources. India will have the ability to design, develop, make the ability of manufacturing and the that maintain and update the defense system. Export deal on the end while developing synergy the civilian sector on, on the other side. Making India program, the government is supporting the creation of a private defense industrial base in the country and make competitive state run defense public sector across the globe. So in this one, developing the private sector and make our public sector to become the competitive across the globe, not only for the Indian uh, India has emerged as a top destination for R&D centers in the world ahead of US and China in 2015 and that trend is between. The research and development distance of India needs to be generalized for creating the domestic IPR for defense needs. These distance needs to be leveraged in catapult India as a developer of next level of frontier defense technologies in the world. The factors that influence the growth, that is a major factor, the major focus under making India's defense on the estimating the acquisition process and instructed so as to create more opportunity for the local industry. The government of India has put in place of building blocks to incentive the growth of a domestic defense industry while the organization is restricting the revised acquisition planning procedures, the DPP, FDI and other regulations. In the defense procurement, it is an agreement of compensation made by the manufacturer, the defense offset policy. Defense offset policy is on India 2002 with the government of India to develop and uh, make the capacity building under which the supplier country is bound to offset some amount of purchasing or procurement from the local. But uh, uh, in making India process, 
it uh, strengthening and it giving the in different sectors. Different software means the supplier is work to an agreed value with work in the buying country over and above what it would have brought in the absence of the offset. So it's limit around 30% whatever the supplier is that 30% is to be manufactured. And after the controversy comes from the offset policy, the 30% of the amount that we are purchasing from the France that it will be from by the Indian company. So whatever that, that uh, controversy, it controversy that from we are procuring and making the partner one of the Ambani company, Reliance. So Reliance was only one company, it is not sold one. There are all other different partners. The latest offset policy is EPP 2016 developing indigenous defense sector in the major objective of the defense. Major features of EPP is the creation of a new category called Indian designated, developed, and manufactured, and it has been given the highest priority. This category is created and promoted maximum to encourage domestic design of defense equipment. And industrialization is strategy to match India's own requirements and go of the global market and this India's specialization and areas of competitive advantage. Enable the development of a comprehensive strategy and plan to provide its industry both public owned and private with a platform and roadmap to develop these industries. So, the strategic partner for developing the private industry that is identified and the area in which so these areas are aircraft, fighter plane, transport and helicopter, warships, armed fighting vehicles, complex weaponry systems. To command and control communication system, intelligence. Computers, internet surveillance, target acquisition, and critical materials. <coughs> they are the four areas in which the government emphasizes the developing the defense sector. Taxation regime which uh, may be needed. Relating the role of taxation regime in supporting the industrialization, state are providing a fiscal fiscal environmental that incentive and supports the long term risk taking investment and R&D by business which is required to build the industry. Foreign direct investment up to 49% of investment is allowed under the government rule. Above 49% case to case case is allowed by the government committee. Investment of foreign portfolio investment up to 24% is under automatic rules. The requirement of single largest investment in the ownership of 50% of equity is removed. A locking period of 3 years on equity transfer has been done away with the FBI board defense. So, human resource development. Identifying human resources as a poor focus area in Indian defense industrialization process so far. The expert committee has made a number of vital recommendations. These include setting up defense manufacturing sector skill council, initiating a joint Ministry of Defense Industry sponsored maintenance program, a provision to enable skill development through the offset group, setting up a pool room around defense industry clusters and a industry program for military engineering. And uh, in defense corridor, basically two corridors that come up in Tamil Nadu and it is maintained by the ID or the ID training for the defense corridor uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, a defense corridor in UP it is maintained by the uh, or innovative, innovating hub for uh, Defense sector by the IED 
Karnataka. So, Make in India in Defence Sector Expert Committee of Government of India has set 2027 as a target year by which the industry's goal of 70% self-reliance can be achieved. Potentially, we are on the 30% and we have to renounce our two villa. 70% with large gap. So, we have to give vast incentive, uh, vast investment, large investment and uh, a large amount of human uh, resources required to cope up the upcoming area in our industrial hubs in Chennai and uh, UP. A large investment. Incidentally, the target year coincides with the term of the current long-term intended perspective plan 2012-27 of the armed forces. Evidently, if the armed forces are to be inducted with 70% indigenous equipment by 2027, the recommendations of the committee have to be implemented, implemented in right, earnest and in the least possible time frame. So, it is a historic opportunity to establish a credible defense industry. The formulation of a new comprehensive policy of making in India in defense based on the recommendation of the committee going on to be tedious and time consuming. Therefore, should not hold the ministry back from taking steps that will start doing years before the time runs out. Government of India in 2018 aims to achieve a turnover of rupees 1700 million in defense goods and services by 2025 involving additional investment of nearly rupees 700 million and creating employment for nearly 2 to 3 million people within the time frame in 5 years. Startup and defense startup in uh, defense category startup the startups will be involved in the technology development in aerospace and defense sectors. Hackathons will be conducted on specific problems area. Department of Defense Production and DRDO will announce challenges for major defense R&D requirements for institutions to participate with a well-defined outcomes. An amount of rupees 1,000 crore will be allowed for the purpose of period. 2018 to 20. A scheme entitled Innovation of Defense Excellence will be formulated which will set up defense innovation hubs throughout the country to provide necessary incubation and infrastructure support to the startup in defense area. Wherever required private venture capital into the defense sector, especially for startups the government will come up with the appropriate policy for startups in the strategic area to monetize the newly developed technology. The policy will in the area provide right of the first offer to government to acquire the technology through appropriate market-based acquisition process. Now the challenge is, the first challenge development of technology in this is in the advanced electronics and material, which will across all the world. Basically, we are not in good position to the material science as well as in investment. We are not uh, having any good chip, electronic chip formation present in India. We are in the nascent stage and uh, the breakthrough comes in our uh, ID Chennai. They are going to develop indigenous chips, electronic chips that can be used in our IT sector and in defense. But the first place to come up. But we are not having any case of, we are not in different areas in Secondly, the materials. 